Hey guys, what's up? Siphim here. Welcome back to Let's Build. Today we're going to be building another modern house. Uh, this time though, I wanted to build it on a bigger scale. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's get to the materials that we're going to be using. We're going to be using uh, stone brick, or not stone brick, just regular stone, a uh, stone block, uh, spruce wood, quartz slab, quartz brick, or yeah, uh, spruce slab, bushes, glass, ice, and I'm going to be picking up some stone slab here. So anyways, uh, over here I'm going to be doing a 10 by 10 square for the foundation of the house. And now that you have the foundation of the house done, uh, what you want to do now is uh, build a pillar that goes up, and then you want to build over here, and then connect it with another pillar that's 10 blocks high. So now that that's done, you just want to go ahead and fill in all the walls. All right. Well, as you can see here, I've already started filling in the walls. Um, I've sped it, or I've cut it a little bit, so I w you guys wouldn't have to see like the whole process because I thought that'd be too boring. But yeah, anyways, once you have that done, uh, you want to uh, <clears throat> just fill in the walls with your uh, stone blocks. And, uh, alright, well, that's how it looks so far. Uh, now you just want to line the very top of it with your quartz slab. Now what I'm going to do with the uh, quartz block, I'm just going to put it right there, right that, so that the very, like, outside of it, or the perimeter of the uh, roof, it's kind of accented a bit. Alright, so over here you want to take your quartz slab and you want to just like uh, place them over here uh, on the perimeter of the roof so that it's sticking out a bit. Alright, so over here, I'm kind of just making like two pillars uh, that are going down from the side of the building, uh, just so it goes off, uh, and then the doors are going to go right in between it, so that's kind of what I'm doing right now. And then now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take my... Uh, uh, I'm going to take my uh, quartz slab uh, and then I'm just going to mark down uh, where the center of the building is uh, just so I can see where the second floor is. Okay. So now that I have that done, I'm just kind of going to make like a uh, uh, support beam that's kind of like sticking up over the top of the building. Uh, I'm not sure what the actual thing is called, but uh, yeah. Uh, you sometimes see it in modern houses uh, in real life, so uh, I decided to add it here, kind of. So I'm just extending the uh, house uh, down, or I'm going to extend the beam down. 
after I finish this. And then I'm just going to build it down. Um, now over here, I kind of thought that the uh, gap, original gap that I made here uh, was too big, so I decided to uh, shorten it a bit, uh, the gap between uh, the beam and the roof. So I'm just going to take my slabs over here, I'm just going to make it smaller. Uh, but still here, I thought it was still too big on the side, so I just decided to take my slabs again and just fill in the gap. And I did the same over here. Alright, so now that that's done, uh, we're ready to uh, build the sides of the house. So like uh, the other living areas. Alright, so now what I'm doing, I'm basically laying out the foundations for the side room that we're going to be building at the side of the house. So essentially I'm just kind of like uh, lying the perimeter with, uh, or at least like the top part of the house is a uh, perimeter with quartz slab. And down here I'm just going to put some stone. Uh, originally I wanted to uh, like build the entire thing out of stone and then just go from there. Uh, but I ultimately decided though after I finished uh, building it here that I didn't really like the look of it. So I decided to get rid of it and then uh, just leave uh, the stone there, or the stone pillar there, uh, just for uh, kind of like support, kind of detail thing. And I decided to entirely uh, just put ice around the perimeter instead. And then over here, um, after I was putting down the ice, I was going to have the ice extend all the way up, but I just decided to have the ice wall uh, be three blocks high. And then over here, I would take my stone, and then I just line the very top of it with stone. Now over here, uh, what I was going to do, I was going to take my spruce slabs. And then I'm just going to line the outside of it. And then as I was doing the second row here, I kind of realized that the, uh, for the first spruce row that I put was kind of too high. So I had to move it down a bit just so it would be uniform with the rest of the building. Alright, so that is, uh, yeah, that's the first part of the modern